love video games. Everyone loves video games. I think. Anyways, let's talk about my favorite video game. <laughs> now what could a little old animator like me call a favorite? Minecraft maybe? Nah, my favorite is... Cult of the Lamb. <laughs> okay, so you start off the game as this little lamb who's being sacrificed to the gods known as the Old Faith, and oh, the afterlife. This is where I ended up meeting the one who waits, and I'm faced with the hardest question in the world. I- okay, honestly when I saw this I just started laughing. I don't think it was meant to be that funny, but oh well. Anyways, a few deaths since I'm running later, I ran into this guy Ratao. Ratao says that he's a vessel like me and starts helping me along the way. More killing and running later, I got to this new ground where Ratao starts telling me that this is where his cult used to be, and this is where I must start my own cult. Then Ratao straight up digs a hole in the ground and leaves. So I guess I'm on my own now! After getting my cult barely started, I was forced to go and explore this place called Darkwoods, ruled by the god of chaos, Leshy. I end up running around Darkwoods, destroying everything in front of me when Leshy shows up out of nowhere. Leshy starts saying that I was supposed to be dead, then realizes the one who waits is back. He warns me to leave, which I don't. Uh, moving on, I keep running around until I stumble upon this room where I watch Leshy turn his follower into an actual monster. Like, oh god, I guess I'll just fight the monster follower and convert them to my cult then. After defeating the monster follower, I go back to my base where I build up the cult some more, then leave for Darkwoods again. In Darkwoods, I had to fight two more monster followers before Leshy decides I can't go any farther and he should fight me himself. I'll be honest when I say that, uh, Leshy's fight wasn't that hard at all. Eh, I take his heart and continue on. This time I go after Hecate and the land Anora. Hecate does similar stuff to Leshy, like turning their followers into monsters I have to fight. However, Hecate is the god of famine, meaning while I'm away from my cult, Hecate starves my followers. I really can't leave for one second without something bad happening, can I? Anyways, I run and fight my way through Anora when Kalmar, Hecate, and Shimura pop up. Shimura seems to be losing it, while Hecate just keeps telling me to bow down and give up. Which... I don't. <laughs> Later on, I ran into Hecate again, and she starts saying that she will not fall to the same fate her brother Leshy did, and challenges me to battle her in her temple, which I can't really back out of. I was a little nervous to fight Hecate, but nothing I couldn't handle. I eventually reach the temple and start fighting Hecate when she gets stuck in the ceiling. I mean, I didn't know what to expect when fighting a giant frog, but it definitely wasn't that. After defeating Hecate and taking her heart, I go after the next god, Kalmar, in Anchor Deep. When I went into Anchor Deep, I didn't really see Kalmar for the most part. However, when I did find him, he caused disease across my cult. Remember what I said earlier about not being able to leave without something bad happening? It still stands, but oh well, I can't go back now. I have more squids to kill. Later on, I ran into Shimura. Shimura didn't have his bandages on, so I could actually see his brain, which is pretty gross. Shimura starts babbling again and says that he's right next door. Then he leaves. Okay, but I guess I'll see you later. Oh god, there's a spider! After I defeat the spider and the last monster follower, I go after Kalmar. I was honestly pretty anxious to fight Kalmar, especially because he had four weapons he could attack me with. Kalmar was a bit of a hard fight. When I say that, I mean I survived on one heart. I was fully expecting to die there, man. Anyways, taking his heart and moving on. Next, I go after Shimura and Silk Cradle. Here's a secret. I hate Silk Cradle. I hate spiders, Shimura is the god of war, meaning they turn my followers against me and I have to kill them. It's all bad, okay? So I start fighting my way through Silk Cradle, defeating all the monster followers, when, once again, Shimura challenges me to fight him at his temple. At first I thought, okay, here we go again, won't be that hard, right? Let me tell you how wrong I was. I fought my way to the temple on one heart almost the whole time. I think the anxiety of going with such low health somehow made me strong enough to win? I don't know, it's weird. So I get to the temple, still on low health, and somehow defeat Shimura, surviving on one heart again. Oh my god. So I defeat Shimura, take his heart, and continue on, still shaking because of the anxiety I just dealt with, when the one who waits decides it's time to free him, and lay down my life as the final sacrifice for him to be freed. Now I don't know about you, but I don't exactly want to willingly sacrifice myself, especially after all I went through to get to this point. Also, when we originally made this deal, he said nothing about me having to die again. With a lot of anxiety and just straight up fear, I go into the gateway. The one who waits tells me to bow down and be sacrificed, which I refuse to do. He got really mad when one of his henchmen told him that he could handle me himself. Now I know there are some really good gamers out there watching this and just screaming because I'm doing so horribly. I'm trying, okay? I'm not the best gamer, alright? 
Okay, so I defeat his henchmen, and the one who waits gets so mad that he breaks his chains and comes after me himself. I was pretty nervous, but I was getting by alright when I finally beat him. Oh dear god. So now I'm fighting his eyes and getting very hurt in the process. I can't believe I'm dying to legitimate eyeballs. I defeat the eyes and... I won! I have defeated a god. The one who waits then says I would be weak to spare him and vile to kill him. I just added him to my cult. I served you this whole time and now you work for me! <laughs> so that was Cult of the Lamb. If you're interested in playing it yourself, you definitely should. I know I just explained the whole game, but I left out quite a bit, so yeah. See ya! Hi, I was trying some new stuff with this video. I really liked how it came out, and I hope you did too. Um, just throwing this out there. My Discord server is linked in the description. It's where you can find me most actively and where you can get updates on upcoming videos and stuff. So if you're interested, then go join it. I don't know. I don't have anything else to say. Bye! <laughs>